Hey, hey there YouTube, this is YouTube, let's check me guys, a video of the new ban list. So I will be discussing this new ban list. I showed you all the ban list in the last video, so I'm more just discuss it now. So tower, so the reason for towers being banned is basically because he's like a god in a way, because he's unaffected and he negates all effects on the field, all monster effects on the field. So basically, that means it helps out the quake forts to get their effects engaged so they have their original attack. Shuriken ban because it's basically like a um a gin and and for the whole it gets treated as a whole tribute. So that's broke. Uh, construct. Um, I didn't really see a need for construct getting banned to be honest. I think at one it would just been fine. I see the purpose of it getting hit though, but I think for one, like, if it was just at one, then that's fine. Like, the reason it stops, um, I think the reason it banned because it destroys special summon monsters because in battle, and and because you get a free, um, and you get a send of shit all from your deck to your grave. But I think the whole purpose because of it destroying special summon monsters in battle. Like, automatically, I believe. So, yeah. I think that's the whole purpose. Now, a lot of people are raging about Exiton Knight. Now, a reason I believe to hit Exiton is basically because it's a free, um... How do you say it? Judgment Dragon, in a way. Basically, you just detach and destroy the entire field. So, I think that's the whole purpose. Why? Because they don't want any fuel destruction anymore. So, I don't really mind it because I don't really own extra time, so I could really care less. Quick for a scout seems reasonable. Graph. Uh, graph. I don't know how to feel about graph getting hit to one, but I guess. Now, Mathematician, I can see why to hit Mathematician, because a lot of decks are coming out and won't be playing him now. So, I think it was a good call that to hit him to one, finally. And now he's going to be cheaper. <laughs> uh, Brianek, simple. Unicorn, because it's annoying, because one on field and gets special summon monsters effects when that came out from the extra deck. So, and a lot of people wanted to go to one already, so, good job, Konami. Kanahawk to one, I have no idea what Kanahawk does, but I remember that it creates a loop. Elshadol Fusion, because it's basically a super poly for Shadows. Uh, Rota, that hurts a lot of warrior decks that are coming out, because a lot of decks right now contains warriors in it, so that hurts them a lot. Even my Synchrons, I, I'm playing Synchrons and I need Rotas for my Doppel Warriors, but yeah, but I think I will be fine. Hopefully, <laughs> but Sir Malbranch, uh, I don't think a lot of people won't play a lot of Sirs anyway. I don't know, I can't remember. I, I haven't played Baron Miss in a while, but Chaos Sorcerer, a lot of decks are coming out have light and dark monsters in it. So that's gonna be fun. To pull. That's gonna be fun to see. Shein, a lot of people don't care about. No, a lot of people don't really care about Shein. A lot of people want to play Six Samurais, but they really want Gateway back. Uh, Spellbook of Fate. That's a big boost of Spellbooks, guys. My my gosh. Um, seeing that it was limited and now it's no longer a list. That's terrifying. Gear get gear shipping off the list a long time ago because Gugius won't be doing shit anymore. Gugius pro pro won't probably be doing anything in this format, so who cares? But Spellbook of Fate's a big boost for Spellbooks. She, uh, she ain't getting unlimited. No one really cares. Chaos Sorcerer is a, that's a big surprise. Um, a lot of people are expecting it, but a lot of decks next format have a lot of light and darks in it. Um, 
But like I said, I was expecting Fanny to get to two. Main reason is because um, a lot of decks next format want well, a special summon a lot. So I was expecting to go up one. Now, like I said, Rhoda hurts a lot of people. Um, and they finally killed off Necroz. And they finally killed uh, Ritual Beast the Loop. But a lot of people are so shocked about Exiton Knight. I don't really mind Exiton Knight because I don't own one. And I never used it. Like, to be honest, I've never used Exiton Knight ever before in a duel. <laughs> But the main thing that I'm still shocked about is Construct getting banned. I was... Like, I knew Construct was going to get hit at some point. Because I was planning to make Clown Dolls. I was almost done too, because I only needed, like, one more uh, window. But now, Konami fucked that over for me. But... I was really expecting Construct to go to one. Doesn't start to be banned. Sure... Good reason, because... I hope he's summoned out Trishula faster. And Towers, good because it's a god. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I guess for Konami, good job in this new list. It's going to be very interesting next year to see what decks are going to be played. Uh, what decks are going to be played. But I was really hoping to bring back Rabbit to you. But yeah, I guess kudos to Konami for this list. But I guess that is it. I really don't know what else to discuss about. But the uh, main thing is that still bugs me is that they don't put like they stop putting the date for the next list. So I'm like, oh. So they want us to suffer to wait for the new list. So yeah. I think the last list came out like three months ago, so I guess the new list will come out three months after this one so this starts in November so this will come the new one will probably be out in February or March so yeah remember to like and subscribe for more videos guys and I will see you guys later see ya